sis, where you been at? Like, <laughs> where you been? Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I know that I have been missing for a couple months. I don't even remember the last time I posted, maybe. Um, maybe like in September, October, the last video, but yeah, your girl has been going through just a time of being by herself, figuring things out, getting myself together. I just really needed the space, honestly, truly, like I really been just doing my own thing. And with that, I had to take a break with posting. Um, I've just recently taken an Instagram break. Um... But I want to get back into posting videos. Yeah, so um, excuse me, I'm going to be eating my breakfast. I'm super hungry. This is the first time I ate today. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I have some errands that I need to run. And today's the only day to do it because tomorrow is going to be a snow day here in um, the DMV area. If you're new to my channel, what's up? <laughs> I am Nicole. And yeah, y'all, I don't know what my next few videos are going to be about. Um, you know, I have, my past few videos have been like fashion and I also do like beauty, lifestyle and everything. But I just want to keep it real with you guys, like what I've been doing, um, you know, how I've been building my wardrobe. I've really been self-development these last few months, is, which is why I haven't posted. So even with that, that's with my fashion also, I've been really figuring out my style and zeroing out my closet and trying to buy stuff that it more incorporates what I want to wear so um so yeah y'all just we just gonna go with the flow I mean a lot has changed I've gone looking at my breakfast I've gone pescatarian um within the last couple of weeks so these are veggie sausage I've just been really about my mental state lately um doing a lot of uh prayer calls in the morning and and trying to again off social media I have I've been off social media for maybe like 10 days now even though I have like re-downloaded it and looked and then deleted it so yeah I'm gonna try to keep it you know keep it together I have a few errands I need to run today like I said tomorrow's gonna be a snow day so I'm really trying to get this stuff done today and I haven't been out that house the fast like the last few weeks because I've just been enjoying being in the house doing nothing. So I need to leave the house today. So today I need to go to Ikea because I'm looking for a full length mirror, um, like a standalone full length mirror. So I'm going to Ikea. I'm also going to be going to the mall because I need to pick up, y'all, I know this sounds bad. Don't judge me. But I need to pick up some gifts for my step my dad and my stepmother and my brother and sisters. Number one, I haven't brought them a gift because they are the hardest people to shop for. My dad and my stepmom, I buy them stuff and they don't use it at all. Like the gift just sits and it just turns out to be a waste of money. Or when I ask them what they want, they say nothing. So... I've just haven't brought anything and then also um I didn't spend Christmas with them because um my stepmother and my sister actually caught coronavirus uh so that's another it, it's just a lot been, that's been going on these last couple of weeks so yeah they caught coronavirus and there was a, like a scary moment where I could have caught it because I was over the house so uh for Christmas and well Thanksgiving and Christmas um because first my sister caught it she works at Target so not even within like three weeks she started working at Target she caught coronavirus and then maybe like two and a half weeks later we found out my stepmother caught it too so it was a quarantine period within like I want to say a month so it was like from Thanksgiving and then right before Christmas um is when they came both came out of quarantine but uh, my son and I really just skipped going over there period I need to find them presents um I need to drop them off so I need to go to the mall to get them presents and then lastly I need to go to Trader Joe's because again it's going to snow tomorrow so I want to stock up on a few things because I don't know how it's going to be um and yeah I just I just want some things and I may let me see, I may 
I don't know. I'm going to get some things out the mall, too. And we're, while we're in the mall, I may go to Sephora. I have a gift card. And I may pick up some things for my face. And then I also may um, try to order Kevin Aquan concealer. They don't sell it here in the DMV area. So I have to order it. But I really want to see like what color is best. I don't want, I don't know for sure because you know with concealers for me, I like to test it first before I purchase, and I'm not able to do that. So I want to see in Sephora if someone can at least give me a recommendation on the color. So y'all, another reason why I've been missing too is because my skin it has been a major, major issue with me these last couple of months. Um. I think just because I've been working out a lot more and running outside a lot more, um, I'm wearing a mask a lot frequently and my skin, like, I don't know if you can see it, the hyperpigmentation is real. My skin has like freaked the fuck out um, just with the mask. Like I'll show you a picture. This is how my skin looked this time last year when we didn't have to wear masks. And this is how my skin looks now. Like, and I'm not going to complain. My skin could be way worse. Um, I, right now I don't currently have any breakout. Well, I have one coming in, but I have a patch over it right now, but I don't have any, like, these are not any breakouts. These are just dark spots of hyperpigmentation, but you see how bad my skin has gotten. Like my, my skin has never gotten this bad and it's just because of the mask. So I just picked up new mask. Let me get it real quick. So I was, let me show you. So I was working out in these masks. These are the Under Armour masks. I wore this for an Under Armour photo shoot that I did in November. And they, of course, we kept the one that we used. And I really liked the mask, but I think they were just causing my breakouts. So I just picked up, I think it's called MD Acne. And it's a little wrinkle, y'all, because I washed them. Um, but these are supposed to be antibacterial uh, face mask and they're cotton supposed to be very safe for your face I'm not wearing any more of the disposable disposable masks I really feel like they were causing my breakouts also um so I picked these up I literally just got them this is like my first time I wore it during my workout this morning and it was good um now I do double up with these so I wear this because it's just like cotton so I wear this and then I put the disposable mask over it I don't put the disposable mask on my skin I put it over this just so I'm making sure excuse me that I'm staying protected but yeah my my skin has been like a major major issue for me um I've never, like, I've had breakouts before, but I've never had it to this degree. I really don't know what to do. Um, it's to the point now where I'm even thinking about going to a, a dermatologist or I need Accutane. Like, what's going on? Um, so, yeah, I've just really been trying to figure out what is going to work for my skin. Um, and with that, like, I haven't been wanting to film because you see my face, right? And this is what my skin is looking like. I've, I've been doing everything right now. I've been doing, like... Um, I've been doing aloe vera mask. I put aloe vera on my skin. I do a steaming and I'm getting a facial steamer. Um, I went into, I, I've just been trying a lot. I don't want to go into my skincare right now, but I've just been trying to see what works for me. A lot of it, I think it's mask me. A lot of it, I think is cystic acne because my skin, when I get on my period, my skin goes crazy. So, um, I'm just going to see how I, I've been trying something different for the last uh, maybe week or so. I'm going to see how it is. And then if it gets to the point where I just don't know how to handle it anymore, I'm going to go straight to a dermatologist because uh, I can't deal with this no more. So, yeah, y'all, that's just where, I mean, just to keep it real, like, that's why I haven't really found, like, my skin has been a big insecurity for me and I'm trying to figure it out. If you guys have any recommendations for Mask Me and um, like how you're combating it, what's been working for your face, please drop them below. I would love to hear how to get my skin together. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, right now I'm just eating my breakfast. It's about, what time is it? It's about like one something. And then I'm going to take you through my, the highlight. 
of these last couple of months is that I got an espresso maker and it's so like it's just upped my coffee game y'all don't even understand it has upped it like my bustelos my bustelos are like like no other right now so I'm gonna show you guys my new espresso maker I got it from Aldi $50 okay Aldi $50 yes and it works perfectly fine um, I have had no problems with it. Aldi really does have some keys. Like I find really good products there that are outside of food. Don't sleep on Aldi. If you have one, you need to shop there. So I'm going to show you my espresso maker. I'm going to take a cup to go in the car. And then, yeah, y'all can spend a day with me. Okay. <laughs> but I at least wanted to show you what I'm wearing. Um, I have my Telfar bag. I brought a lot of new things these last couple of months. I'm going to probably show you towards the end of the video what I've been purchasing. But I got my gray Telfar bag. This is the small one. And then I also have on this just hoodie. It's from H&M. I have on actually this new. It's new from Zara. It's actually from the men's section. It's super cute, but just kind of like a teddy jacket. I wanted something that is similar to the Saint Laurent, um, the East Saint Laurent teddy jacket, but without the price tag because that thing is like almost two thousand dollars. So I found this um, on Zara sale. It's in a i don't know if you can see it from here but it's like in a green color um and it's super cute to me it's just like a nice pop of color so um i like to pair it with hoodies so that i'm not super hot when i go outside but i'm still warm in the cold weather i have on these um faux leather leggings i got these actually from target um i picked up a pair from zara and i picked up a pair from uh actually two pair oh a pair from zara and a pair from pretty little thing and i did not like both zara was too tight and pretty little things was way too loose you know if it's a, a bbl body frame we don't got that right now so um i actually got these from target and i love them they're high-waisted and they're super like tight and fitting and they just look really cute and then i also have on my black yeezys so yeah y'all this is the look i got these frames they're actually from the middle of the stand in the mall so you can pick them up from anywhere but yeah y'all this is the look right now um i'm gonna go ahead and put on so with fragrances i like to try out fragrances in um their, their little travel sizes first before i commit to a bigger size because some fragrances give me 
headaches so i can't do all smells so i've been trying out the ysl libre i'm not sure if it's gonna <laughs> There we go. I've been trying out the YSL Libre and I like it. So I'm going to spray this. I'm pretty sure that if I go to Sephora today, I'm going to pick up the bigger size of this now that I know it's not going to give me headaches. Um, and I'm going to put this on and then I'm also probably going to just spray a little bit of the Vanilla Woods too, just to mix the fragrance. So I'm going to do that right now. And then, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the house. I'm gonna warm up my coffee a little bit because it's not as hot as I like it um, to be. But yeah, yeah, this is the look for today. And if I can find this jacket, I will let you know. I actually just took off this tag, y'all. $39.99 is how much I paid for it. And it's in a size small. I would love actually to get it in a medium because I wanted to be able to close it, but they didn't have a medium. That's okay. I feel like when I get the money, I can get the YSL one, but this is just like a good dupe and also a pop of color to like my black fit. So yeah, I love it. The only thing I wish is that this hoodie had pockets. <laughs> I love a hoodie with pockets. Um, but yeah, y'all, this is the running errands fit for today. And then also my white masks too. So yeah. Let me go. This one, the Napper, which I'll show like a side by side. Wait, side by side, my son is gonna my nerves, y'all. It's between this one and then this one, which we're gonna get. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one. It's cheaper and it's black. Now this line we gotta stay in. The line is all the way to the back where you go, where you come from. <laughs> Like right in this part and you know the walkthrough area to so you get to this part the line is all the way back there so we gotta go all the way back this side to just even get close to it it's ridiculous I'm moving right now y'all but let me see if i can show y'all So, got up out of Ikea. If you saw that line, ridiculous. But it actually moved really, really fast. I don't know if they were just like, they got more people at the register. But it moved super fast. Um, and we were at the front within like two minutes. Got this thing in my car. Luckily, y'all, this is why I need a truck. I had to put my son... He was low key getting on my nerves. <laughs> Y'all, taking my son to Ikea maybe was not. Yeah, so I ended up getting the mirror. You guys saw the mirror that I got. Um, it was two options. I just wanted a black mirror. Um, oh, I, you know what? I didn't see that that thing was blocking me. Um, you see, it's blocking me from seeing on my back mirror. I didn't see that. Um, but I just wanted a black mirror. I just feel like black is my style. 
um and the ones that i did want they didn't have so between the two this was just obviously the best choice um of course the price was better too it was about a 60 dollar difference um but that honestly didn't bother me too much i just wanted something that would be good oh my skin does look good right now so yeah um i end up yeah so i ended up getting him to i got a coffee cup a glass coffee cup which was super cute i think when i move into my own place i'm gonna just stock up on a couple of those those were cute um i love when i kid because it gives me like i, I can think about things that i want to get when i do move into my own place which is soon um but yeah so i got a i got a coffee i got one coffee mug um i got also a, a frying pan a non-stick one because i eat eggs every single morning and we got rid of our non-stick pans i think because something had happened to it and i i'm just tired of not using a non-stick pan like having to scrub with a brillo pad the eggs out of the part the the pan so i got a frying pan i got a little so you guys saw i got like that little thing and it was it like a uh, uh, what's it called i forgot what it's called but it's like a shelving unit and people usually use it for the bathrooms but i need something nixon has a lot of toys i have to go through his toys and we just need different units and honestly i just need something that is um the best like shelving that number one isn't like cheap like that one wasn't cheap um i need to get my nails on super bad but isn't sh like um that can just uh, i can use it for different things so for that one i like it i can use it for something um for his toys and stick it in a corner somewhere uh and these are just like little things that i'm purchasing right now that you know when he gets his own bathroom in the future then it will transfer into the bathroom we can use it for that purpose but for right now that area I'm choosing it for the toys um, and what else I got I got that um, and got him the mask you guys saw the mask that he can paint um, yeah and the two masks and two I think that was it I'm going to slide it my wrist real quick I got the frying mm -hmm. pan Oh, uh, and I got a little box lid that he can put more of his Legos in and organize. So, um, I got that too. Yeah, so my total came up to be $94.28. Um, a lot of the things, like everything else except for the mirror was no less, no more than $10. So that shelving unit for i know it's i mean again i know it's used for the bathroom but just for his purpose of toys for ten dollars you can't really do that on receipt so um you guys are going to see where i want to put the floor mirror um i just want to be able to take better pictures um i just want to be be able to take better pictures so as you see he never sits behind me but he had to sit behind me um, so I've only, okay. I've never been able, Nixon, be quiet, be, be quiet, okay. <laughs> so I, um, you'll see where I want to take pictures now because it has way better lighting. It's upstairs, it's not downstairs, but I just needed a better mirror and able to do that. So that's why I got this floor mirror, um, to do that. So so i anticipated running all my errands at once but i just don't feel comfortable leaving this big mirror in the car right now um and i don't have the space i mean and i don't prefer my son to sit behind me so uh as you see I just don't prefer my son to sit behind me so i am just going to run home real quick and drop this off 
probably um, go Mom, get something. Are you going back home now? We're just gonna run home real quick and then we're gonna go straight back out. So I'm just gonna go home and you can grab something to eat too. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna run home real quick, drop this off, and then we'll go ahead and I'll get my lunch. I already got a, which was very smart. I got a um, salad yesterday from the store and I was wondering when I was gonna eat it, but this is the perfect moment to eat it so I can grab it in the salad and go eat it in the car. And then we're just gonna go to um, the mall next. And I'm about to go home, drop this stuff off. I'll check back in to you guys when I'm on my way to the mall. That should be a little bit more fun. <laughs> I know this part, well, I mean, y'all probably would like to see it, but I know this part may be a little dry, but the mall may, may be a little better. Um, I don't plan on buying anything for myself, but I mean, I'm going to hit Zara up if it's not packed. So, I'm thinking I may go to Annapolis because it is literally a Trader Joe's right across the street. So, um... I'm thinking I may go there and anywhere else I'm going to go. It's going to be ridiculous. I mean, the grocery store is going to be ridiculously crowded anyway. I'm pretty much already expecting that since tomorrow is snowing. But um, I'm thinking because I'm going, I'm going to go after everything. That's going to be my last stop. That hopefully that takes my chances out. It's 4 o'clock now. So by the time I get to Annapolis, it'll probably be about 530 thing about living in the DMV is that there's so many mall options there's so many cities that you can go to like Annapolis is 40 minutes away so you can go to Annapolis mall and that's in Maryland or you can go to DC and shop in DC you can go to Virginia you can go to Pentagon or you can go to Tyson's or you, I mean go to Alexandria like there's so many there's a harbor there's so many places to shop at in the DMV area and so many options and um, so many different environments so because I don't feel like I've been usually going to the Trader Joe's in Virginia in Alexandria which is right over the bridge but because I want to go to a mall I would have to go to Tyson's and then go to Alexandria and that's just a lot of work to do when I can just go to Annapolis and then go to Trader Joe's then and then on my way back I can stop at my dad's house and drop off everything so um, that's like on the ride home so that's my plan I wish I could be on my way to Annapolis now because I was just in College Park and I could have just hopped on 50 and went straight to Annapolis and I would have been at least like 20 minutes, but um, I really just prefer not to leave this in my car. I really don't want to, I don't, I don't want to go to the mall and then, I mean, Annapolis is way better situations than any other places and I park specifically in an area where, um, you know, a lot of people don't park. But at the same time, I, I just rather not even appeal to somebody who's on some other stuff. So, um, so yeah. I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.
y'all we went to the mall <laughs> and it was a waste of time why we got nothing <laughs> we found nothing um i mostly came here well, i could at least take this thing off um go ahead put your seat behind so i mostly came to the mall um to get nixon i needed to find him a bigger jacket when i'm jacket because the one he has right now the arms do not fit him anymore on your jacket. Yes, they no, they do not. So, especially if he about to try to go out in the snow, he needs a coat. Um, so, all right, when the sleeves are longer, do you see that? Move the apple juice, the empty apple juice at that. When the sleeves are longer, can I point to it? When the sleeves are longer than your shirt sleeves are longer than the jacket sleeves, that's a problem. I think so. What? I, I don't even know why I came here expecting to look for a gift because I literally just did the same thing about three, four weeks ago. Came here to look for a gift and got nothing. <laughs> the same thing happened. So I don't even know what I expected to do in here, but that was a waste of time. Um, I was gonna get maybe my sister something from, from Sephora for a gift. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't. I know I did go on Sephora. I actually wanted them to match me. I said before for the Kevin Aucoin concealer, but they were even taking too long, and it was a wait. And it was hot in there. Like they must have the air, the heat booming, so they don't have to wear coats. But it was hot, and I, I, I just couldn't do it anymore. And you know, I looked around try to see like what things i may be interested in but i didn't really see anything so um i mean i saw the ysl perfume but i'm um i don't know i just didn't feel like even i was gonna get the the dr dennis gross wipes even i didn't feel like doing that so i just rolled at that point, I was like, all right. And, and at that point, Nixon was getting on my nerves. So I was like, yo, look, it's, it's time for me to go. Nick, all right, so I'm over here at Trader Joe's right now. It's literally right across the way, um, right across the street, like literally. And there's no line. So I'm finna go in here real quick. Um, yeah, it's literally no line. And, um, there's no line and I can just grab some things that I need to get because I wasn't about to come in here because I was like if it's a line because their lines are outside like at least the other one in Virginia you wait in a garage this one is outside I'm just getting a little chilly so I was like oh come on Nixon can you put your mask over your nose you really be forgetting sometimes where you are and what's going on. Mm. Oh. You would rather hurt my hand, like what's my hand? Well, if you walk up, that wouldn't be a problem. My door was too open. The other door is open and there's no line. The last time we talked, I was going to Trader Joe's. I didn't show you. And I went ahead and put all the foods uh, away because after that, I dropped off my son and then went to Target and Chipotle. So I'm back home. I got my mirror right here. And I'm going to just show you really quickly what I got. From Ikea, I first got this mask right here. It's like a little painting mask that you can do for kids. Um, it was... So I can't find the receipts. So I'm just gonna put the price in the name on the bottom. So yeah, first I got the face mask. As you see, my mirror is right here. I'm gonna take it out and then I'll show you guys the finished product once I um, put it together. I got this container that comes with a lid right here. 
um you'll see the name right here but i got this and i just needed something to put my son's legos in um like a little organizer he already has one and we have like some bins also where you can put some toys in but i think i'm gonna make the bins um for like his pokemon cards and his cards for school and stuff like that and put the extra legos in here I also got, this was the stand that could be used. Um, this is what it looks like that can be used um, in the bathroom, but I got it for uh, my son's play area. I know this one costs $9.99 cause I was like, yes, for the price, this is just a good look. And I'm just gonna use this to um, put some of his toys um, that can be held up individually and or whatever else i find i'm just gonna put that in here maybe i'll put like his electronics in here with the chargers and stuff like that let that be this station so i got this um i also got a frying pan which is upstairs a non-stick one um and i just needed one for my eggs because we threw out all of our non-stick pans um so i just wanted one because i needed it and didn't get anything from the mall but target i got this creative kids if this was in like the section when you first come in where the stuff is like three to five dollars it's a creative kids paper bag puppet theater so i got this for my son so he can just do some pepper theater paper bag things um while he's at home it comes with like three paper bags some shapes and cutouts and the glue so got this for the snow day also i told you guys before that he needed a coat um we couldn't find one so i ended up going to target for that and found a coat and it was on sale um so i ended up getting him this coat um from target this is the size small i think so it's the six to seven and I really like the colors i've been actually i have been looking at this coat for a minute in target but i really just did not like this hood it was really cheesy to me um and didn't go with the coat but for the fact that um i just needed something for him to have during the snow day i got it um and it's, i love the brown colors though i think that's what i love like if it was just straight brown and maybe like a black fur hood that would have been cute or just, let's just do without the fur hood actually um oh it comes off i was trying to figure out because i was gonna wash and i was like this fur don't come off so yes he's gonna wear it without the fur this is actually really cute i'm gonna throw this fur in the trash and yeah i paid um it was regular price 39.99 i paid 27.99 so really good for the price it's a really warm coat. It has the fur in the inside. And it's, um, oh, this cute. It has, you can put the name on it, which is so cute when they go to school. I mean, actually, it also had to, like, target on their coats. They rate it from, I guess, warm to warmest. This coat was a part of their warmest. So, yeah. This is what I got from Target. Um, but I can also show you guys really quickly some more other things that I've been purchasing um now that i've been missing um i'll try to find pricing and everything for it because some stuff oh i got one more thing from ikea this is the coffee mug that i got from ikea super cute super sleek these are the ones that i said when i move out i'm just gonna purchase like a whole bunch of them just like this to put in my cabinets um but yeah super cute I was gonna get a couple but then i was like yo you already have so many coffee cups so you don't really need more um but i'll just go ahead and show you guys some more other things that i've been purchasing so i just got this this is a, a zara shirt let me tell you about this so well first this is just a zara it's in a camel color yeah you can see it from further back it's the camel color it has short sleeve and a high turtleneck super cute super simple so i got it this is a size medium um so it's really fitted which is what i wanted but my tag says 9.90 right here you see this is not the right price so i actually got this when i got the zara's honey coat that i told you about earlier 
and I got this with it and when I looked at it it said $9.90 it was actually like $12.90 so when he rang it it said $12.90 and I was like okay but the tag says $9.90 and he was like okay but it's 12.90 that's how much you have to pay and i'm like okay but the price tag says 9.90 that's how much you're you're supposed to charge me so he was like trying to we were like going back and forth and to me it's nine dollars it's twelve dollars that that's nothing but for me it's the principle like if it says it costs 9.90 you cannot sell like i worked in retail i worked at nordstrom's like I am I'm big on customer service and that aspect of whatever the price is, it's how much the person is supposed to be paying. So the fact that he didn't want to, like he gave me a kind of rough deal and I'm like, all right, just call the manager over, me, over and give me the price adjustment. The manager came, she didn't even ask any questions, she just did it. I mean, Zara, all the time, you know, they have wrong prices. And at this point, if that price is that, call your manager over. It doesn't matter if it's $3, $20, $50, $1 like it's just it's always the principle for me if the price says something that's how much a person should pay so let me know in the comments if y'all agree or don't agree um i know it was three dollars and it was probably doing too much but again i am very much about principle and when someone doesn't even i think it for me it was the fact that he didn't even want to give me a price adjustment and that's why i was so adamant about getting it because if he would have just been like oh let me get the manager for you i probably would have been like oh no it's fine it's not a big deal it's three dollars but the fact that he didn't even want to give it to me knowing that they were wrong and trying to tell me i needed to come out my money no <laughs> so let me know what y'all think in the comments but yeah this is the shirt that i got super cute um don't know when i'm gonna wear this <laughs> um also got this teddy jacket i have not even worn it yet i got it from h m um does this have the tag on it? No, I don't think it has the tag on it. I'm going to try to find it and link it down below. But I got this teddy jacket. Um, this, not teddy jacket. I got this uh, oversized shirt jacket. Shacket. It's a size medium in gray. I know for sure I got this for 40% off. Um, if you shop at H&M right now, they have this um, loyalty program that if you sign up, I think you get 20, you get 30% off your purchase if you sign up. And then there's also like a mobile rewards. So if you sign up, you get an extra 10% off. So for my whole purchase, I got 40% off of everything. And I wasn't even going to get this. And then she told me that. And I was like, oh, sis, hold on. Let me run back and get this. <laughs> so I ran back and got and got this. So I will say if you um, are not signed up for their loyalty program, go ahead and sign up. But also that if you sign up and you got an extra email, you use the extra email because I did that too. And then I got 30% off that purchase too so yeah um that's h&m loyalty program sign up for it. you can enter in your email and then also ask them about a mobile rewards that if you enter in like your mobile phone number and register that too you get an extra 10 percent off so you get 40 percent off your whole order so yes got this um pretty little thing i just got this it's a bodysuit but it's leather and i thought this was just really cute i love anything leather and um i just wanted something that would look really cute with a pair of jeans and some heels if i wanted to be cute so this is in a size uk 10 so it's a us 6 it definitely is a little snug i probably should have got a size uh 10 or no i probably should have got a size us 8 but um for me my weight fluctuates a lot because i go from losing weight to gaining to losing weight so in about a month, I'll probably be able to fit this six with no effort. So, yeah, this is also what I got from Pretty Little Thing. Pretty Little Thing, I brought, like, all the other stuff. Um, these are the... No, I got this from Zara. So, I got this during their sale. These are Mom Fit High-Waisted Leather Pants in a size 8. They're super cute, like, just to wear with a turtleneck. Have not worn it yet because... Um, honestly don't go nowhere but to work out and then if i run errands i really just like throwing a hoodie and some pants or leggings and that's it to be comfortable but yeah they're a size eight they're a mom fit they hit right below the um right like right on my ankles so yeah once i put my mirror up you guys can see better footage of how a lot of this stuff fits in me and i, I can i can show you straight up but 
this is just really quickly so from pretty little things so i told you guys before i got these from target which was well worth my money i'm gonna find these and link the target ones um in the comments in the i'm gonna link them down below so you can check these out these out because these were oh, like the most comfortable they were so comfortable to wear today and i like them because they're not making no noise like they're just ugh, love them but these are the ones that i got from pretty little thing that i mentioned earlier and they just they first of all they're not like you see how these leggings fit me like skin they don't fit me like these they're a little bit baggy and i wonder if it's because i got a size too big um i got a us 8 but that's my regular pant size so i feel like if i would have got a six i would have been it would have been too tight so honestly i think pretty little things sometimes they fit their clothing off of bbls and not everybody has a bbl right now so what are we supposed to do so like what am i supposed to do so yeah these were i don't know what i'm gonna do with them right now because i've tried you know like i can roll they're also were too long too like too high waisted to the point where i had to roll them up but you know when you roll them up it's like uncomfortable where they like where they're sitting it's just it wasn't attractive so i don't know really what i'm gonna do yet with them but the last thing i got from pretty little thing was these boots these boots are so i needed just a pair of black heeled boots i've been looking for a cute pair for a just to like wear casually if i'm going out if i'm every day and i got these and uh, when i tell you they are so cute i'm gonna put them when i put my mirror up i'm gonna hopefully show you guys a better preview i'm gonna put my mirror up later on but uh, so cute i'll put the information right here and i know i got them for sale at least like 50 percent off and yeah like these i can just wear anywhere anywhere and they're comfortable they're not too i didn't want a heel that was like way too high and i couldn't walk in them i didn't want a heel that was way too skinny and i couldn't walk in them i wanted it a, like a thick block heel that had a good length to them that would add me some height but were also like manageable right so yeah it, it's just uh, just such a cute heel i wish it didn't have this like stretch right here but of course for people who have like a uh, bigger thighs or anything like that it makes it easier for them to get into but there's such a cute pair of boots so cute and, and definitely it was definitely worth the 50 percent off in the ending price i definitely <laughs> like i was happy about that so yeah y'all that is the um that is the uh wrap up of what i've been purchasing you guys also saw too that i got that telfar bag so what i did was i ordered that from that program that they had that you ordered the bag during the summer and or yeah it was like during the summer or before the summer maybe like in may or june you ordered the bag and paid for it then and you had to wait for it to get made so i got the bag at the end of december it was funny because i completely forgot about it and then it hit me like in december and i'm like yo i never got that telfar bag and it said in the email that it would come literally like the beginning of january or first week of january and it came like two weeks before then so i was i was happy about it and i got the gray one which was super cute um let me at least grab it so you guys can see it so this is the gray telfar bag that i got super cute i love this because a lot of people have telfar bags right now like everybody got a telfar bag honestly and if you remember, I'm going to link it at the beginning. This time last year in January is when I first started my YouTube. And I did a wish list video. I did a wish list video of things that I wanted to purchase in 2020. And what was one of them? A telephone bag. Before all this Black Lives Matter. Well, Black Lives Matter. Well, before all this um, supporting Black business, which is very much great. But before all the supporting black businesses became big and Telfar really got a name because of that and people wanted to support black businesses, I said I wanted a Telfar bag. And then at that point, it was like that blew up. So then Telfar blew up and it just became impossible to get the bag. They sell out within seconds at this point. So I just ended up getting the loyalty pro um, doing that 
program bag program and got this gray one i love it because i don't see a lot of people have this gray bag i don't they have like the reds or they have the red the black or the green um sometimes it's hand but i never see anyone really with the gray one and it's so super cute um i don't really feel a lot in here i have my celine card holder which comes in hand um you'll see that was from a former video of things i got too so yeah i love this bag especially because i really just run the house i leave the house to run errands so um yeah this is pretty much like the best thing because i can just especially like an ikea and stuff i can just wrap it around me super cute and stylish even like with this outfit it just it's a nice pop of color i wear usually like all black so i really didn't want a black bag i wanted something that was really neutral it's still dark but it was a nice pop of color and the gray is that so yeah definitely worth the money i'll probably wear it with my telfar belt you know during the summer one time um and style it up like that but i got this yeah let me put the mirror together and thank you guys for watching so much thank you guys for watching this recent video if you're still sticking with me thank you so much appreciate any kind of views or support that i get especially after going low um so yeah thank you guys for watching Thank you.